He will not leave you. If he does not discipline you, you're not really a son or a daughter. Amen? Amen? I know God's fire. I know his judgment. I know his discipline very well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then judgment will go to the world. Not to condemn the world. God's first desire is for them to be saved. If they reject him, they will be punished. Their own ways will punish them. God will not punish them. Their own ways will punish them. Amen. Set your next to their own ways will punish them. Now, it's not nice to hear these things, but it's the truth. You know, one day I was walking around in this building. God said to me, he's, coming, he's preparing us. Judgment start in the household of God. I know his judgment. I know his discipline. I know his fire. Then he said to me, judgment start in the household of God. And after that, judgment will go to the world. And he said to me, there's coming a sickness on the face of the earth that no medical science will be able to cure at all. Nothing. People will die. The only place that these people will be healed is in the church or the, or the church of Jesus that walk in his power and in obedience. Not all churches. Churches that walk in obedience will be the only places, place where these people will be cured. Now you can laugh tonight and you can think funny things. They also laughed at Noah when Noah said there's coming a big flood. And he was building that ark for a hundred years. People mocked him and said to him, he's a nutcase. It was today they would have said, hey, moet in vos wees kopies gesit word, groen dakies na. They thought he's a nutcase because he said it's coming a flood. Remember I told many of you before that in those days there was not even water. There was not even the rain. Every morning there was mist. It was only with the flood of Noah that rain started like we know it today. When he told the people water is going to fall from the sky, they thought he's a nutcase. He said great water is coming that's going to cover the whole earth they thought he's crazy this old man this old man is crazy the bible says he was a preacher of righteousness before he started to build that ark he was a preacher of righteousness say a preacher of righteousness i mean a preacher of righteousness who told the people to stop sinning their ways were shameful ways very similar than the crazy things that people are doing today so the Bible calls him a preacher of righteousness. A righteousness. So today again, there's a flood coming. The Bible says the last days will be like the days of Noah. Give Jesus a hand. The last days will be again like the days of Noah. God said to me, there's coming a sickness that no one will be able to cure. No medical signs. They will not even be able to help them at all. And it's especially going to strike men. I don't know why. Men. More than women. And this is going to be because of sexual sin. When that sickness strikes you, it's almost gone. The only one that will be able to help you is Jesus. That will be God's opportunity and his hand of love reaching out to a dying world to save them. So why are you building a church like this, even galleries? When the Lord told me to build the galleries, I said, Lord, bring in some more people first, then I will build the galleries. He asked me this question. He said to me, that Noah said, say to God, let the first drops fall and I will finish the ark. It would have been too late. So we're building an ark. It's coming a flood. Give Jesus a hand. Amen. It's coming a flood. Amen. Amen. Say to God next to you, it's coming a flood. We are building an ark. We are today like Noah, preachers of righteousness. I'm preaching righteousness. I will not preach false nonsense. I will preach repentance. Because I will not stand guilty before God because I preach nonsense and tickle the ears of people with funny teaching. 
that make them comfortable in their sinful ways. I will not be judged because of that. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If anyone is happy with such teaching, he can listen to that, but I preach righteousness in Jesus. Say righteousness in Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus said, if your righteousness does, does not surpass the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees and the religious people and the, those who try to keep the law, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. The only place you will be safe is in the kingdom of heaven. Pastor, this is a scary story. Then I said to the Lord, Lord, come show me in your word. And took me to the book of Revelation and it's obviously going to read yourself. Wow, great plagues that will strike the earth. And people will cry and they will even beg to, be, to, to, to die and they will curse God. Go and read Revelation. You will see that there. The book of Revelation. But the book of Revelation is a revelation of Jesus. Jesus is always there stretching out his hand. God's judgment will come because sin is a devastating thing. And he cannot tolerate sin. And after all, he is the creator of everything. And everything belongs to him and every person belongs to him. Amen. So who wants to do his own thing? You are not created for yourself. You are created for him in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.